Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now May 12th of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2's finale, a lot of fans have really been looking forward to shows like the Ahsoka series, the Kenobi series, and of course Rangers of the New Republic that's going to be reformed and more by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni as well as George Lucas in the mix. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Jon Favreau is that we do know that he's working on a lot of stuff at the same exact time, so I can only imagine how much stress he's under trying to really put the pieces back together again for the Star Wars universe, and to also just really try his absolute best at really giving the fans what they want to see at home on a streaming service. You know, The Mandalorian is Jon Favreau's creation. That's his thing. Given that season one, yes, he didn't have full control over that, season two he did, and that's exactly why. It kind of had more of a cinematic feel to it, right? Because of all the scenes with Ahsoka, Bo-Katan, Boba Fett, and others out there. Now, when it all dwindles down to the character of Cara Dune, all right, ever since the Gina Carano firing, a lot of fans have really been up in arms over how Lucasfilm treats their employees and how they treat their actors and or actresses and how Gina was really fired in a, such an unprofessional way to say the least. I mean, we've gone over this several times. On Twitter, you know, through Twitter hashtags and all the like, you know, all those different ways of gaining the momentum for her to get fired, that was Kathleen Kennedy. That was all Kathleen Kennedy's plan. She could have easily prevented that by calling in Gina to the office and making it a private discussion that she's getting let go from this series and then take it from there. You know, then the media outlets would have eventually caught on. That's how it should have worked out, but sadly it did not, and it really embarrassed Gina Carano. It really made her feel broken down and sad. That's why she went on the Ben Shapiro interview to kind of speak her side of the story. Now, Everything related to Jon Favreau, what's really intriguing all has to do with his plan. So now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe with projects like Star Wars Andor, Kenobi, and more, it's best described that creators like Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are hard at work on developing shows beyond all of that. However, in a recent interview with Jon Favreau when discussing shows like The Bad Batch and The Book of Boba Fett, John was eventually questioned about the handling of actress Gina Carano and her firing. Now, at one point in time, John Favreau went on to say that he really loved Gina Carano in his Star Wars stories and that she was such a down-to-earth and humble person to work with that really made the work days as fun as can be. I understand that Gina may have made some mistakes and that Disney did not take it all too well with those mistakes, but I believe everyone deserves to be accepted even after making some mistakes. When John Favreau was questioned about whether or not Gina would be coming back to the Star Wars universe, John Favreau simply replied that he is not at liberty to say at this time of what's going on with Gina and that he does not want to create any kind of expectations but in response to Gina getting let go all I can say is that I loved working with her and that she is she was easy to work with as a person who even shared ideas for her character Cara Dune in the show at another moment in time, John Favreau was given the question of Kathleen Kennedy's leadership, where Favreau stated that he and Kathy have had many creative differences with season one of Mando, but with season two, he and Dave were given tons of creative control that let us play around more with the story overall. Now, the thing about John Favreau is that you could just tell that he's kind of trying to dodge the questions a little bit. He's trying to keep shy from really answering a lot of those questions and I can understand that he doesn't want to get on anybody's bad side and I can totally understand why John Favreau would be like that you know look at John Favreau's image you know he does have a great reputation with Star Wars already he's done an amazing job with the Mandalorian he is working heavily on the book of Boba Fett and he's also working on the Ahsoka series with Dave so he's got a lot of stuff coming into fruition. I mean, this is the man that basically saved Luke Skywalker at the very end of Mando Season 2. He literally did that. This was all Jon Favreau's idea. And the fact that, yes, he could not answer things directly, 100%, I can see why. I want to go over one thing here that really does strike me the most, is how... 
John Favreau, you know, says how easy it was to work with, Gina, with Gina Carano and how fun it was day by day to work with her. And that's what everybody talks about. Everybody has said nothing but great things about Gina Carano, that she's a sweetheart, she's a down-to-earth person, that she really is never a person to really get angry on the set, anything like that. That never happens. It just seems like John Favreau really loved working with her. And let's not forget, a couple months ago, even John Favreau said before Gina was fired, that Cara Dune is one of his favorite character creations. He really loved Gina portraying the role of Cara Dune. I know some fans out there are like with the overall situation. Well, Cara Dune is not a big, big character. Who cares? A lot of fans are saying things like that. And I understand that. I mean, she's a minor character, but her firing, I got to tell you, really made her character all the more significant in the story. It really did. And for what it is, you know, for all the things that had happened in the past couple of months, We've talked about this, that on May 27th, there is going to be a major meeting between John Favreau, Dave Filoni, and the higher-ups over at Disney to discuss Gina Carano's rehiring over at Disney and Lucasfilm for The Mandalorian Season 3 and or 4 in some way, shape, or form, and to figure out a way of announcing this if that is accepted by the time this fall arrives. So you can see... They're really trying to win the fans back. They're really trying to keep the fans stable. And they're really trying to get some of the lost fans too. I mean, let's not forget, not only did fans walk away from Star Wars after the sequels ended, but also after Gina Carano was fired. You know, they lost some, you know, some amount of Disney Plus subscriptions on there. We're not quite sure about the number. We don't have the true stats on that. But overall, when we go ahead and examine Gina Carano, all right, she is going to be making a major interview with somebody, we're not quite sure who it is, by the end of this month into early June with somebody, it could be somebody of the likes of Joe Rogan or it could be Ben Shapiro again for all we know. She is going to be exposing Lucasfilm again, like talking more about Lucasfilm. Now, in the case that if they do decide to rehire her and get her back on board, it almost comes off like that Disney would almost accept this just to keep Gina Carano quiet. And I've said this for the longest time, I'm not even quite sure if Gina Carano would even accept coming back to The Mandalorian if she was given the opportunity. That I'm very uncertain of. I'm not quite sure if she would really accept that or if she would really even want to come back if that. You know, after how they treated her and after what they had done. Look at Freddie Prince Jr. of all people on Twitter that actually laughed and thought her firing was funny. All right, this is exactly what I was talking about Freddie Prince Jr. the other day, is that, you know, there's a lot of Lucasfilm employees that just laughed about it and thought it was very funny and hilarious. I don't know why, but it seems like a lot of people that are affiliated with Lucasfilm just act like children. Somebody like Freddie Prince Jr. like that, they act so immature for their age to the point where it's just embarrassing that's all i really have to say but moving on from this guys you know let me know what you think about the entire situation between gina kathleen kennedy and john favreau's response to all of this and what you guys have to say about everything related to the future of the franchise and gina corona situation will she return will she not return if she's given the opportunity do you guys think that she would actually accept this let me know what you guys think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.